Capital Jazz TV holding it down, and look who is in the hot seat right now, who we love. You know, he's family of the Capital Jazz Cruise, of the Capital Jazz Fest, Norman Brown, baby, always doing his thing. And man, my man, you did your thing on the Capital Jazz Cruise. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, brother. It's thirteen. Uh, wow, man. It was a, it was an honor, man, to be asked to play that full entire After the Storm CD, <laughs> hey, look, which we all know is my landmark, right? Yeah, it's a landmark CD. Uh, Six hundred thousand copies. Yes, right. Um, that's the way love goes. Oh, Soul Train Award winner. Yes, sir. Jazz album of the year that year. Yes, sir. Yes. Congrats, man. Gavin and Award winner. <laughs> <laughs> he is a Grammy Award winner. No question about that. Two and a half years on the charts. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's the <step> of <laughs> What a blessing, man. <laughs> Say that again. It's what? It's a blessing. A blessing. A blessing. Is, blessing. When you look back, and, and, you know, I love it when I hear R&B instrumentals, smooth jazz instrumentals. Nice. And you took that, Janet Jackson, That's the Way Love Go. That went top 15, ladies and gentlemen, top 15 on the R&B chart. Yeah, that was bad. Another big lesson, baby. He's a bad man. I'm not going to say <laughs> a bad You know how hard it is man. to get an instrumental yeah. chart on the, yeah, I mean, is. song on it the really R&B chart. It man. hasn't happened like that in, in mighty long time. That's right. That's so right. congratulations on all the continued Thank success. Thank you, brother. Um, man, you have, like I said, you're a part of this Capital Jazz family. And what do you love most about the cruise and what do you love most about the fest, the, the entire experience? What do you love most? I'll tell you what, man. Kudos to Cliff. Yes, sir. Yes, Cliff sir. Hunt, putting this whole thing together, starting with the festival. Mm -hmm. I've been playing that festival since my first record, Just Between Us, which was 92. 92. Yeah. yeah. And ever since then, Cliff brings me back to play that festival. So I've grown up in front of those literally, fans, man, literally, yeah, literally man. as an artist, you know, wow. in this festival. Starting this cruise... Ah, took it to another level uh -huh. because what you have now is interaction between me and my customer or me and my fans got it that you cannot get at a festival interesting you know what i'm saying i mean they come they bring their cd to the meet and greet and you sign the cd take a photo that's it right they try to tell you a story about right. how, how your music affected them but you don't have time to, to hear it because there's a line of a hundred of them sure. behind it, right <laughs> this kind of setting though yeah. the cruise changes the game wow now okay. I can sit there and have lunch with someone yep. and hear the stories about how this music that flows through me, which is not mine, by the way, it's the universe, <laughs> baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, affected people, man. And some of the stories I hear, Lenny, I got to tell you, man, it taught me that I'm not just doing what I love to do and what I'm good at, mm. but I've been chosen to serve, baby. I hear that. That's and right. you hear that. You hear that all through. I hear your musical testimony. <clears throat> and, and this is your musical ministry, especially... Ladies and gentlemen, I put this out here for a reason because this is his latest CD, The Highest Act of Love. And that statement alone makes you think, like, what is the highest act of love? My man, and, that's and, what the and idea giving was. giving it, giving it. You know, you just give. And that is the highest act of love. Of course, the more you give, the more it comes back to you. The universe. <clears throat> Pow! <laughs> the highest act of love yes, sir. is the definition of love. It's the act of giving. Expecting nothing in return. Nothing. That is the highest That's act. That's the highest act of love. And it's actually a law in the Egyptian comedic spiritual system, which yes. I study. It's called the Osirian. Okay. They teach us that there are 11 laws to God. And this fourth law is called Ma'at, which is the highest act of love. This law states God needs you in order to come into the world. Got it. Fulfilling God's need is the highest act of love. And it's only through your love for God can mm. you fulfill your love for others. So become the love of God in the world for the protection of the world. Let the church say amen. And amen. The Norman Brown sermon for <laughs> today. My brother, I'm telling and you. Know, I'm wearing this CD out, man, from the title track to the very last track. Well, that's a beautiful thing because I... There's 11 laws, so I wrote 11 <laughs> songs, songs, one for each of the law. And I Lenny, I got to tell you, I wrote two CDs to get it right. No real. No, for real. For real. I wrote 26 songs. That's a great thing, man. To make sure that I got as accurate an account of, of each law that I could. Well, Norman, you have, your accuracy has been good way before this CD came out. <laughs> you have a certain lick. Like, I know it's Norman Brown when I hear that, oh, I, I don't know what you call it, because I'm not a music guy like you are, where you, it, it, 
You hear that little thing. Yeah, it's a certain thing, man. I got pointed out to you when I hear it again. I'm like, that's how I know that's you. Please do, please. I love you have a certain that. signature sound, like a certain little lick in all of your all of your songs, and I love it, man. I man, love thank it. you, man. That's uh, I always say this. Yeah, I am the best <laughs> because nobody else can beat me. <laughs> this is very true. So as long as I stay original and true to myself, yep. man. That's the best I can be in this planet. Hey, look. This we cat, all got that now. As long as you're you, that's right. nobody can be better. No one. Look, Cat comes out of the bayou and uh, born and raised up in uh, Kansas City, which you're probably overwhelmed right now if you are a Kansas City chief because you know, you know, they're doing their thing. <laughs> I haven't they seen this since thing, I was about here. Dude. I know, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> 69 or 70. Yeah. Wow, man. So how can people keep up with you for those who are just finding out about Norman Brown. How can they catch up and stay in contact with you, know where you're moving to? Beautiful, man. I'm glad you asked that question. I started a streaming service. Oh. You know, if you Google Norman Brown, you'll find me all over the Internet. Great. And I'm making money for YouTube. I'm making money for all these different sites wow. that I don't get paid from. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. So I started my own streaming site called NBTV, Norman Brown TV. It's a subscription-based service, or you can pay-per-view. I mean, we've pay-per-view concerts. Oh, this, this guy is taking it to a whole new level. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we, we had a, I have a Christmas show, Joyous Christmas, featuring Bobby Caldwell and Marion Meadows. We had a show in New Haven, Connecticut, Lyman Center, sold out. So I decided to pay-per-view the event. We brought out 12 cameras. Yeah. We have two recording trucks, and we live-streamed this baby. Really? And we sold it as a pay-per-view event, or you can buy it as a digital download or digital access that one-time event. So I'm doing this with a lot of my concerts, and you can join the service, which is $9.99 a month. And what we did was we cut, we cut original content that you won't find on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet. Wow. Have a talk show, which I gotta get you all. I would love to it's be It's called on. Conversations. Love it. Conversations, and what we do is we talk about um, successful people from all walks of life. We talk to them about their framework for thinking and reasoning about life. I like it. How they handle their successes and how they handle their, I'm not going to call them failures, but lessons. Lessons of life, which is right a part of life. Yeah. That's how we grow, right? Yeah. So this talk show, I have some great guests. I got uh, Don D.C. Curry's on there, Will Downing's on wow. there, uh, Nat King Cole's brother, wow. Freddie Cole, last surviving Cole member of her family, uh, Master C. Joe, Stephen Muhammad from the movie Enter the Dragon. Interesting. You remember the brother in there? Yeah, dude. <gasps> it was training Jim Kelly. Well, that brother, he's an 80, 88-year-old martial artist, 80-year-old martial artist who started 50 years ago, the 50th anniversary of the Black Karate Federation. I will either. Black martial artists was not getting their due back in the day. He started a federation to, to take care of that. I love it. Bruce Lee quoted as saying, he has the fastest hands he's ever seen. Interviewed that brother. We got some great guests on this show. I got live stream concerts. Um, Man, it's just it's <laughs> and a it's called ball. NB. It's TV. called NBTV. You can go to normanbrown.com and check it out. But normanbrown slash dot tv. Normanbrown.tv. This guy is changing the game. Pay attention. Always a pleasure, my brother. My brother, Continue give it success. up for my man here. Lenny, He's always Lenny taking making us good. Well, thank hey, you, man. Lenny. You are the best. Thank you, brother. Thank you for joining Ooh, us on Capital Jazz TV. <laughs>